So I've got my video ready and I want to make a SCORM file from this video. So the way to do it is, and this is actually something I need to tell you, I'm using Camtasia 2018, but it works in 2022 and basically every version of Camtasia. This is the same process. It doesn't really matter which version you're using. So the way to do it is either go to export over here or go to export at the top here. And then from this list, if you're using a newer version of Camtasia, you need to pick a legacy local file, which will be on It'll be on here. So legacy local file will be on here. Now, if you're using the same version as me, you want to pick local file. Whichever version you're using, you get to the same screen. So you want custom production settings. So it's the one that's come up for default for me. So just click on that one. So custom production settings, press next. MP4 Smart Player HTML5. That's what you're going to be using. So pick that. On this screen, I leave it as it is. Nothing for me to change on here. You can change if you want to, but I won't. Press next. And then on this screen, you've got reporting and you've got SCORM. Tick the box. There you go. Press next. Give the project a name. There you go. Example SCORM course. Call it obviously whatever you want to. Click finish. And it will make your SCORM video. The video has been created and it's launched. Just let you know it says unable to locate the LMS's API implementation. Don't worry about any of this. Okay, this is because it's just launched as a video. Because you're doing it as a SCORM video, it should be uploaded into your learning management system. So anyway, close that. I can press play. I can watch the video. There you go. And this is what it's going to look like for the users as well when they actually launch it. Your next step though is to locate the file. So um, just finish that. So I'm in my Camtasia folder now and I've got the course, there you go, example SCORM course. I go into there, here's everything I need, but the bit that you want to upload to your learning management system is that one there. It's a zip file. Mine says WinRAR zip, uh, that's just what I've got installed on my computer, but yours will probably just say .zip or zip file or zip archive or something like that. Anyway, it's this one here, it's a zip course. And it's zip files that you want to be uploading if you're doing a, um, an e-learning course as well. So your administrator for your learning management system will be familiar with this. So anyway, this is the file that you need. So send this to your learning management system administrator, or if you are that person, this is the file you want to use. Upload it as per usual to your learning management system. And there is your SCORMed video from Camtasia. Also the player itself will be the Camtasia player, which is what we chose earlier on in the video. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like the videos, please, thank you, and enjoy SCORMing all your Camtasia videos.